This tutorial is going to go over how to group multiple shapes together so that you can move groups of shapes around the 3D area. To begin with, first load the standard tool collection if it's not already loaded. To load the standard tool collection, go to the very top of the screen, click on Tools, and then choose Standard. You'll notice a new collection of tools appears throughout the screen on the top as well as on the left. In order to group shapes together, you must have multiple shapes in the 3D area. To begin with, I'm going to create a basic cube, cuboid. And on top of the cuboid, I'm going to place a wedge. Now right now, if I was to move either one of these shapes by clicking and dragging, the two shapes separate. However, if I wanted to group them together so that if I grabbed one shape, both shapes would move, how I do that is this, and there are two different ways to do it. One would be to click and drag from an empty area all the way to an opposite corner that covers both shapes and release. Notice now I have bounding boxes around both shapes. Now to group those two shapes together, you would come down and you would click on the group button which is in the bottom left hand corner. Notice now there is now one single bounding box. That single bounding box allows me to resize both shapes together so I can resize proportionally by using the red box right there. Now I can also ungroup the shapes. Right now I'm going to ungroup these two shapes so that I can show you the second way to group shapes together. To ungroup, come down to the bottom left and click on the ungroup button. And notice now I have two bounding boxes. The second way to select multiple shapes, and this method is good if you have a large number of shapes on your screen right here. The second way is to first left click or single click one of the shapes and then holding down the shift key select the other shape that you want to grab. Notice now that both shapes have bounding boxes. Repeating the same process as before I come down to the bottom left and I click on the group button. And once again both shapes are now grouped. Notice in the 3D area that the shapes are grouped, but the shape nets over in the print view area are not grouped. The reason why that is is because the shape nets are what you're going to print and fabricate, and it really doesn't matter if they're grouped together on the 3D area. And that's how you group two shapes together.